I want you guys to realize it's okay to complain about this class because I pay attention to what students say and there's lots of complaints students have made which have actually helped me make changes to improve the class. However, there are a consistent set of 10 complaints which we have not found solutions for or there's not solutions for it. And I want you to be aware of what those problems are from the beginning. Number 10. The homeworks are too long. Okay, I understand. But this is a four credit science class at a state university. You can expect it should take some time. According to university rules, you should spend 16 hours per week on homework. That's not going to happen. But you will want to block out a couple of hours. The homework needs to include everything you would have learned in lecture and in labs and all the other stuff to make sure you know it. It's common for students at the end of the semester to say, actually, a little bit more homework might have been helpful because that's where you actually learn what you know or don't know. Some homeworks may take you two or three hours. Some homeworks can take up to six hours, depending on how much you're struggling on it. You'll need to plan for that. They're not too long. You might argue they're too short. Number nine. No one answers my posts. Okay. Well, usually that's because you're, you're not posting things quite right. If you say things like, I need help with this chapter. Can someone help? Uh, no. No, they can't. Or there's a lot of posts where people say, I need help with question seven. You've got to tell us how far did you get? Did you get stuck? Do you not understand the question? Are you not getting the right answer? You've got to put in some information into your post. Also, if you post one hour before the deadline, yeah, no one's going to respond to your post. Usually this complaint is something you can fix by doing some better posting. Put in some information, how far you got, what you did, and don't post right before the deadline. Number eight. I can't get help. Okay, we are very sensitive to this one. I realize we don't have a book, but if you come talk to me, I can help you find a book that would work for you if that's what you want. Most students, a book really isn't what they need. What they need is to be able to talk to someone. We have tutoring options. Even if you're outside Laramie, there's people you can email, people you can contact. The problem is you've got to make some sort of effort to reach out and say, I need more help, and then consistently come back when you need that help. Talk to me, talk to TAs, talk to tutors. There's lots of options here. If you can't get the help you need, then be more proactive, and we will find a way for you to get that help. Number seven. I want to get ahead so later I can fall behind. There's this mentality that an online course is when or even if you want. This is a college course first. So you're right, you can't get ahead. I want everyone on the same chapter because you'll all be talking in that discussion board. This is a foreign language class called the language of science. And so we are all on the same track. Don't get behind, don't get ahead. This is actually a kindness. If I allowed students to get behind, you'd find yourself getting more and more behind until the end of the semester, you're a whole month behind. Trust me, it happens. Number six. That's the worst thing for the homework to be due. I know, that's on purpose. It's made so that you won't want to do your homework on the last day. Pick what day works for you. Is it the weekend, the end of the week, the beginning of the week? Figure out when homework works for you and plan to do your homework then. It's very common that no matter what day I make the homework due, 70% of the class does it on the last day. And that's a bad plan because if you have a problem, you don't have time to try to fix it. Let's pick a terrible day so that you will get your homework done on the day that works for you. And if you need an extra day to fix that problem, you'll have it. Let's move over to number five. Homework is so little on the grade. Yeah, I get why you're thinking it'd be nice if homework was 90% of your grade. But the homework you absolutely should be getting 100% on. There's tons of help. There's a button that says practice another version. And it'll pop up a version of the question with different numbers and a solution walking you through how to do it. There's tutors, there's helps. You are welcome on the discussion board to read how other people solve the problem, what answer they got, because you'll have randomized questions. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be getting full scores on the homework. It also means people who are eager to cheat, just guess on that multiple choice till you get the right answer without even thinking. It is possible to do well on the homework and not actually be trying in the class. So the exams are worth a lot and that's designed on purpose. You won't do well on the exams without the homework. That means the homeworks are worth more than you think because that homework score translates directly into exam scores. 
Number four. I wish I didn't have to post. Well, that's why every other week there's a couple posts that say this post is just to get the points. I understand that and you're allowed to do that and you will get the points with that. But often, every semester, there's students who start out with, I'm just posting to get points. And then later I see posts that say, wow, I didn't realize how much is actually here. Those posts are very helpful and students don't realize how helpful it is until you go and find someone who walked through the thought process of how to do a question and you're like, oh, that totally helps me. Also, students who are struggling need the students who don't need posting to go on there and give some answers. And some people choose not to do that, and that is a choice you can make. But the posting is required because that proves you knew the resource was there, it proves you knew how to use it, and that if you had needed to, you could have used it. Let's talk about number three. I want my exam to not be timed. Really, that was a full two seconds late. This is an emotional one, but it's also an important one. It's not an accident. We want our exams to be timed. We want to know what statistics do you know well, and if you only have a few minutes, you've got to be able to read the question, understand what it wants, and have practiced how to do it. If you had an hour for every question, then you could probably just figure it out by common logic and sense. But with a timed exam, you've got to know the material well. Also, that 15 minute time limit makes it so that this class is the same as the in-class version, which is important when we make an online class. We have to show and verify that the expectations are the same. In class, they have 15 minute timed exams. We're only asking you to be consistent with them. In fact, we've learned online, you go a little bit slower because you've got to type stuff in the computer. So we make the exams just a little bit shorter to compensate for that. We understand that having a timed exam is stressful. And also logistically, we have to be able to tell the proctors, here's the time commitment for you to proctor an exam, which means they need to be timed. Speaking of such, complaint number two. I don't want my exams to be proctored. I know, if you're outside Laramie, you've got to find someone who can do the proctoring. There's lots of options. And if you're having a hard time, contact us. We can help you figure something out. We've never had someone outside Laramie who really could not find a proctor unless they waited till like two hours before. Yeah, that doesn't work. If you're in Laramie, we have proctored rooms. We also have proctored times. So you'll get a whole bunch of time slots and you've got to pick one of those. Oh, I don't like any of those time slots. Or I'm sorry, there's many of them. And if you sign up early, you get lots of choices. If some of them start filling up and you wait till the last day, well, you might not like the proctored exams because you've got to go take the exam at that specific time. But that's the nature of the class. It's my job to verify the integrity and the honesty of our evaluation of your grade. And it's actually in your favor. Last semester, there were two students who came forward and said, I saw another student doing something that was suspicious. And the proctor said, I saw it too. I know what was going on. They were having computer issues of this type, and we were able to fix it in this way. There was no cheating that went on. Great. And that student was protected because the proctor says, I can verify the integrity of the exam. In case I didn't emphasize this well enough, if you cannot find a proctor, let us know quickly and early. If you can't fit one of those time slots in Laramie, let us know quickly and early. If you wait until the last day, there's fewer options we can offer you. If you wait until the day after the exam, you've left very few options that we can give you. Let's go to the number one complaint. Allie? I forgot. No, what's the number one complaint? I forgot. Allie, number one complaint. I forgot. That is absolutely the number one complaint. We cannot underemphasize this. In an online class, it is your job to make sure you keep yourself motivated and on task. Every day, the day after the homework's due, I get a flood of emails, usually about 12 to 20 emails. Yeah, I forgot, there was homework due yesterday. What can I do? Well, there actually is a way that you can extend your homework for a day and you lose 50% of the points you're trying to earn during that day. But I'm hoping that's encouraging you to not forget. You need to make sure you have a schedule and you set a consistent time to work on it. Get yourself reminders and keep yourself motivated. For some of you, that might mean Netflix is going to get neglected for the next couple months. But keep yourself on task and you will avoid the number one complaint and the number one reason why people don't do well in this class.